Hi, I'm Mike McKay, and I'm fat. I've been playing music now in Syracuse professionally for a couple of years, and in the past six to eight months, I've kind of, well, let myself go. And that's not okay. I need to be putting the same amount of energy that I put into my music into my body, and that is why I am here at Champions Fitness in Cicero. I'm working with an unbelievable trainer who's going to literally beat the hell out of me for seven weeks leading up to my show at the Palace Theater with my band on March 24th. Right now, I weigh 168 pounds and a half. I want to get that down to 150 in seven weeks, and it should be interesting, to say the least. Hi, everybody. I'm Jess, and for the next seven weeks, I'm going to beat the hell out of Syracuse's favorite musician. Mike McKay. We're here at Champions Fitness Center and we're going to put him through some grueling workouts. We're going to make his nutrition off the charts. We're going to focus on a paleo diet, which is going to limit what he can eat and how much he can eat, but we're going to get him rolling. It's going to be great. So seven weeks, here we go. Each day for Mike's warm-up, we're going to have him use the rower. He's rowing a thousand meters. When we did his test run, he did it in under five minutes, so we're pushing to keep cutting time off that each time. So he's rowing a thousand meters in under five minutes. For Mike's workouts, we're doing high-intensity interval training. So we took three exercises, we broke it down, we did each one, we repeated them each three times, and then we finished it off with two more circuits. We did each of those three times through. The first one was mountain climbers for 30 seconds. For mountain climbers, we had Mike practice the movement, move his feet back and forth, getting a feel for it to make sure he had full mobility in his hips. Then we had to speed up the process. For the inverted rows, he just got used to reversing a push-up. So instead of pushing his weight up, he has to now pull it up. So he's pulling himself up to the bar and lowering back down to the ground. His alternating bicep curl, just your normal curl, but we're doing one at a time. So his right arm comes up and down, and then the left arm comes up and down. Then we brought him over to the stairs. He had to sprint as fast as he could up the stairs, and a slow, active recovery on the way down. Sprint right back up, repeating five times. His plank row, he's got a 10-pound weight in each hand. Hold himself in a plank, just like if he would be doing just ab work, but we're adding in a row into it, so he has to pull each elbow up to the sky one at a time, the left and then the right. The dips, he just has to bring his hips off the bench, drop down to the ground, and press up using his triceps. Our plate push is like a sled push that football players will do a lot, but this way we're kind of scaling it back down a little bit. We're using a 25 pound plate, pushing that across the floor, turning around and coming right back. Now we've got your normal press overhead for your shoulders and back. He's just pressing the bar straight up over his head, bringing it back down to the chest and repeating. And the last one is his plank. He just has to hold his body in one straight line, working the whole core, butt, legs, everything, for one minute straight. I am out of shape. That sucked. Does it feel good to feel this bad? It feels pretty bad to feel this bad. But it's, it's a good bad, I guess. I'm mad at myself for getting so out of shape. But, you know, I got seven weeks to really put everything I have into this to make it the best idea I've ever had. So, I'm excited. I can't wait for the workouts to get a little easier. And not, not I don't mean get easier, I mean, I can't wait for my body not to hate me. Well, that's why you have me. If you continue to put as much into your workouts as you do into your music, there's no way that you won't reach your, all the goals that you're looking to reach by March 24th.